hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to update our drivers location as like this so it updates the driver location from east west north south so this is the fourth tutorial that will be continuing and i request you to go through my first second and third tutorial and i'll give that link in my videos description below you can just check it out so at first here we need to convert our latitude and longitude to the double value so let's update our latitude to and longitude to double value and we'll get those, those double values from our API itself so let's change that 100 meter to 500 so that we'll get our maps a little bit zoomed out so at first this was the button that we created in order to load the vehicles that were nearby let's remodify that button to text as load vehicles and simple modification is required so we'll be creating another button which will just update the vehicles location so we'll be keeping those two button in a vertical stack layout then our next work is to create a new button click handler for the button that updates the driver location so this is the second button that updates our vehicles location so we'll be keeping that two buttons in a vertical stack layout so this is the second button whenever that clicked then this event is going to be triggered out whenever the button is clicked then i want the map to be moved to a certain region that is my location where i have all the drivers now we need a simple line of code that is device dot start timer timer span dot from second five then we'll start our timer like every five second this method is going to get hit okay so this is the method that will be triggered every five second where we are going to invoke some ui changes in our main thread that will be a async await process so let's create compass which gets inherited from Jamrin essentials this is the compass plugin that helps us to get our exact location of the device whether it's facing from north east west and south so we'll get all the location details with the help of this compass dot start so we have apply low pass filter as true inside our compass dot start method then our next work is to have the reading changes of the compass it's just like a compass navigator that gives us readings whenever our device is rotated so let me generate a method then our next work is to clear all the map pins as well as pull lines at first then regenerate a new fresh map so this is the map that we will be using it let's clear our map dot pins then pull lines too so that we will be creating a fresh new ui for our maps with map pins so this pull lines will be cleared later we don't need as of now so here we'll be getting all the api contents from the api but in our case we are getting all the contents from our view model where we have hard coded all the driver locations so this is the place where we get all the vehicles location details then if the contents are not null then we are going to apply the same for each loop that we have used previously to add the pins to the map so we'll be taking that same code then we'll be just adding a rotation property that gets rotation whenever our compass rotates so this is the actual logic so let's exclude that compass reading change property then a variable named as data will be reading all the compass data contents then we'll be adding that value inside our double data type so header north value will get the data contents and then associate inside it now we'll just put it inside our this method that is to rotate points method 
I'll just cut that. Then our next step is to return the floating type value because our data is on the double data type. So we just need to convert that double to floating data type. Then our work is over. Then we can just stop the compass and then we can just return this method as true so that our timer gets started every 5 seconds that means our UI is being updated every 5 seconds now let's run the project if I click on this button then it should show me all the vehicles nearby to me so if I rotate my screen to some specific location that is east, west, north, south then our icon should rotate in our next tutorial we'll be learning more about maps that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching